Hey guys, just doing an update on the truck. Uh, newest thing would be as of yesterday. Uh, you can see in there, but drilled and slotted rotors. I know if you get drilled ones, there's a possibility of them cracking, but you know, I don't really foresee any problems with it. It stops the truck from 100 miles an hour really nice though. Uh, also, the tune in the truck works very well. You can hear the fans in action. truck really. Turn this light off if I can. That's the LED. But it's not bad. Just kind of getting the truck where it wants to be right now. This is the specs on the tire if anybody wants it. It is a V-netic model 601. It is a 305 7016. And that's the fans. Let me actually open the door and show you. <sighs> Sunday night, just kind of hanging out. Get ready to go, to go inside and take a shower and get ready for work. The flow rating is 4,600 CFM. Um, that's really about it. You'll notice uh, there's no good stick. That's because down there is a uh, easy out that broke off and the lips are full. Because the bracket broke off the side of the block when I lifted the body and went for a first test drive, messed it up. Yeah, they're kind of loud, but yeah, so I can't really check my oil. You can see it just under the starter is at, that hole. But other than that, I haven't really had any issues with it. Let's see if we can get the truck tail lights real quick. And the exhaust has a very nice deep rumble to it. It never, never gets high and raspy. Now, it just growls. But nice little Michigan sunset. Just kind of hanging out. And again, those are Flexolite fans. Future plans for the truck are to get some of the drivetrain work done. I need top and bottom ball joints. And I need inner and outer tie rods in alignment. Or sorry, excuse me, inner tie rods. But and then next performance thing is a locker. I'm gonna go with a Detroit True Track for the truck. It's got 373s and a open rear end. But just fair to give you all an update after the body lift. I hope. It's really bad quality at night, but you, know, you guys get the point. It looks good. Truck rides good. No complications with the lift, even after probably a thousand miles now. No complications with it. So that's a bonus. If you're looking for a body lift, that's performance accessories is a good brand to go with. Uh, just clean the truck, and that's something new. A little dome light doesn't like to come on at all the times, but other than that, the truck's got 274,000 miles on it now. At least the body does. Engine's got like 160,000. Trans has about 2,000 on it now. But I'll give you an update when I add a new part or something goes wrong. Talk to y'all later.